Hello guys, my name is Sabon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to share some news that I have received, which is I have... Oh, the peas today. Hang on. I have passed the bar exams in New York um, and I'm very, very happy about this. Those who know my journey or who have watched previous videos of mine you know this is one of um the goals that i have been working towards for a while now and it's amazing that i've now finally achieved what i wanted that i really had to fight for and now i end one journey and I start a new journey as I work towards a, a career in law. Once I have been admitted as a lawyer in New York, I'm able to work as a lawyer on an in international a level. And this is an achievement for me, a great one. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I will share more, um, you know, as things progress, so I will keep you updated because I see this is a victory, not only for myself, but also, you know, to, like as a way to help other people, you know, to let, you know, other people know that all things are possible to those who believe and are willing to work hard towards their dreams so I hope it will help you or whoever will learn about my story in some way and I also want to share an, an experience I went through um, last year which if I hadn't had worked on myself the year before this experience probably would have broken me and blocked me from achieving what i've now achieved so last year i i traveled to london around january time it was and um i wanted to learn more about the um program that helps you to prepare for the bar exams so i, I traveled um to london for the open day at the provider who was they provided the service um at the bar review course and um they really uh, they really sold it to me I like what I heard and I saw yes this is what I want this is it I'm gonna register and as I had um, a few hours I decided to sit and have a hot drink and um, read the book clip and as I was reading, another lawyer saw that I was reading it. And then he asked me about it. I was like, oh, what is that? I explained about it. He was like, oh, that sounds amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously, as we spoke, he saw that I had a stammer. And I was like, oh, you stammered though. And I said, and? And then he was like, and do you want to do the bar exam in new york and i said yeah he was like hmm, that's gonna be tough love i was like what it was like i'm not trying to sound negative but i don't think you should be pursuing a career in law on that level 
and have a stammer. And I was like, you what? And in my mind, I was thinking, who are you? Where have you come from? Why are you saying these things? And then he, he started you know, to speak a bit more. Then I said, stop. Stop right there. I don't want to hear anything else from you, please. And it was like, no, I said, no, I don't want to hear because everything you are saying right now is negative and I don't want to hear it. You have your views, that's your views, but don't try and speak that nonsense with me because I am not interested. And I was really surprised, you know, with my response. And the reason why I say this is because six years ago, when I was at university, I heard the same words from a lawyer. However, during that time, I was very insecure. I had low self-esteem and I had no belief in myself. So when she said those words, it hurt me and it broke me to the point where for about three years I hid behind in my speech. I only applied for roles where I would have limited speech, like in the, I mean like not having to speak a lot. And I even placed my dream aside. However, as I worked on myself, as I went through the process of um, inner healing, I was able to be free, you know, from all of those uh, traumas, insecurities, low self-esteem, then because I started to work on myself, the opportunity came, you know, to do the bar exam. So when I heard those words, because I had, you know, I think hearing those words and the reaction that I had, that is when I realized that I had really been healed inside, that like I had really overcome and and actually his words drove me you know to say yeah that's it i'm definitely going to do this now to show other people that look so what if we're not fluent we don't speak as clearly that has nothing to do you know with our in in intellectual oh this word oh. let me say in oh, no it's not coming out as well um what word anyway it has nothing to do with how smart we are it has nothing at all and that drove me so i'm glad i'm glad that i saw that man i'm glad that i he i heard him say those words because it drove me so whoever you are you drove me to succeed and I'm thankful and also as well I was able to see that I had overcome and that's why I, I say you know to you guys as well if you see that you know you have in securities because of your speech or other reasons work on it now because otherwise these things could block you from achieving your goals these things could be the reason why you've not yet achieved it it's not because you know you're not smart enough it's because these things are holding you back and once you are free from it you'll see that things will start to move and then you will start to chase things you've always wanted to achieve because you'll have that self 
believe that self-esteem inside of you so work on yourself because it's worth it okay that's all for today um i will share more things and experiences soon so stay tuned okay bye